Hey guys, this is Oliver from Tech Life. Today we're going to be looking at the Connect IQ feature of uh, some Garmin watches, including the Garmin Forerunner 235, which I have right here with the optical heart rate sensor. Uh, check out my uh, review for this watch if you haven't yet. Um, I go really in depth and I show you a lot of the cool things about this watch and uh, the less good things about this watch. So let's go back to this. Um, first, I'll show uh, the kind of apps on uh, Connect IQ. Then I'll move to how you can install and manage them using both the desktop and the mobile application. So basic Connect IQ is a, a feature of some of the Garmin watches which allows you to install apps on your watch. And you can install apps in different parts of your watch. So you can install apps in four different places. You have a watch face app, which is what I have right here, a custom watch face. I can have a custom widget app like one of these that are under the watch faces I can have a full screen app which is what you get um, when you run an activity as an app as you can see right here so these are full apps from connect -IQ. and you also can you can also uh, run data field apps uh, which uh, just run when you have a normal workout such as a run and when you're inside you can simply select as a data field one of the connector queue apps um, as you can like right here uh, so let me show you some examples of the different apps for uh, connector queue so for example right now I have a custom watch face that is showing the battery the day of the week and the seconds and I can easily uh, switch this by coming here in clock options by hold pressing this one for a bit long and if I want uh, big time for example and then I'll have a digital watch with like a lot of uh, more information for example the seconds how many calories I spend this day uh, you know the number of kilometers I ran the number of steps um, and these watch faces are just a lot more useful than the stock ones that would simply show you the time and nothing else for example this one right uh, so secondly let's show you some of the widgets and I only installed one custom widget uh, these there are widgets for calendar and other things you know, notifications but this is an example of a custom widget and the widgets, uh, the only way you can really manage these is through the app or through the website as long as I know and you can reorder them to get um, the best you know, order for your widgets so that's something I would recommend doing uh, next on the list is um, a full app so if I go here in activity and select the IQ app I can choose uh, by running the task a full uh, app so for example I have stopwatch which just gives me the stopwatch feature um, that is not currently uh, available on the stock watch as it comes out so this just gives you like a nice stopwatch that won't be recorded in your activity so that's quite useful uh, something that I actually thought was really cool is uh, this app called work it out and if you guys are familiar with the seven minute workout this is exactly what it is it's a seven minute workout that shows your heart rate as a graph and it shows you uh, what activity to do and the seconds run so what is happening here is I get 45 seconds of jumping jacks and then 15 seconds resting and it shows me what I'm gonna have to do next so this is something I really enjoyed just uh, I really like the seven minute workout and it's great to just have it on my wrist and having these little vibrations and not having to you know open up an app or you know look at the watch all the time it just does like all the work for you and you can just do a few um, of these seven minute workouts and it does save the workout in the end so you can save your stats for your workouts so that's uh, really cool um, I'll show I'll just uh, discard this activity and exit and the last of the Connect IQ apps will be the data fields one and that is pretty cool uh, because you can just replace the entire way your workouts uh, look like so for example if I start a run 
I can go in here, edit data fields, and I can choose, for example, beer units. So what this is showing me as I run is the number of beer uh, pints, pints of beer I could drink, and you know how, how many pints of drink, uh, how many pints of beer I burnt during my run, which is a cool little indicator. I can also um, actually add more complex one, for example, graph graphical heart rate, which shows my heart rate and a little graph of how it has been developing in the last one minute or so. Uh, so if you like, you know, this kind of information, that's quite nice. Um, and the last one is one that actually requires a full screen. Um, and this is actually one of the things with Canada Q is that sometimes it's a bit finicky. Uh, for example, on my heart rate runner, this should be an entire screen, but because uh, I have three screens here, it doesn't really fully display. So that's uh, something you have to change in the settings and change it to one display. Um, however, when I come back, there you can see for one brief second how it would look. Um, so yeah, and another thing I also noticed um, is that s for the field, there is one called Fields of Gold, which always uh, restarts my watch, like it freezes and then it restarts it. So that's one thing, like as you get these custom apps on your watch, you might run into more problems than usual or uh, some lag, as I have experienced with some of these apps. But I still think it's just it gives you a lot of more functionality and it makes it uh, more fun to use your watch with the Connected Q apps. And uh, one of the good things is that when uh, it does crash, uh, it usually tends to go straight back to your exercise if you're in the middle of the exercise. So you won't lose your workout if you're like playing around with this and by mistake you chose the Fields of Gold app, for example. But I would I would recommend deleting these that don't work very well. Um, okay, guys. So that was uh, introduction to connect the queue on the watch. Uh, now let me show you how uh, these work. Uh, you know, installing and managing the apps both on the desktop and mobile. And on the computer, uh, you need to have installed your uh, Garmin Express, which I have installed right here, and then you just connect your watch uh, through the cable provided, the charging cable, and we have the Garmin Express app here, and this this needs to be installed so that it can communicate with the watch and install the apps. Here's the two watches I have, um, and as you can see here, there is a menu called Manage Apps. So here's the little connected queue menu and you can see the ones that are on my device. The watch face is data fields like by category. And if I wanted to uninstall it, I could just click uh, this X and it would uninstall it. Um, and basically we can rearrange the applications so that it will display differently in the list. You can also rearrange the widgets. Um, and you can also get more applications by clicking here and it literally just opens up the same page that I have shown but just specific to the Forerunner 235 apps uh, because there might be apps that only work on the Phoenix for example yeah so some are these some of these popular and if I wanted to install one let's say for example uh, beer and others I can just click here get a few more details about it, the kind of devices that are um, supported. I can see some app info, um, a few screenshots of how the app looks in the different devices. And if I wanted to download this, I could simply press here download uh, and I do need to be logged in. So as you can see, it's asking to launch the application. And when I say launch, it launches the Garmin Express and it says that it's going to install. So as you can see through uh, the desktop, it can be quite slow sometimes and maybe a little bit less intuitive. Um, of course, you don't have to wait for this. You can just continue browsing and finding other apps you want installed. 
All right, guys, so this is how you do it on the la laptop. You can install, you can delete the apps. It's quite simple, quite nice. Um, and it works well, especially if you have a fast internet connection. Uh, so now let's uh, move on to uh, the mobile uh, way of uh, using ConnectIQ and also show um, some of the apps running on the actual watch. Okay, so now let's see how ConnectIQ works through um, Android and iOS. So basically what you do is you open the Garmin Connect app on your phone and you can uh, go here in the menu and select Connect IQ Store and what this does is it just goes into the same website as on the desktop and it shows you all the same information and you can just uh, click on an app you would like and press download and you get a little notification saying that next time uh, the watch syncs via Bluetooth um, or via the computer then the software will be installed and as you can see right now it's syncing I really do like using the Connect IQ through uh, the mobile phone just because it's that much easier uh, my only complaint is that going back and forth through these menus isn't uh, very easy and I often have to press the home button and go back to the beginning and find my apps through that uh, but it does work and it's really a good feature to be able to do this um, without a computer close by. Uh, and recently I found how to delete apps as well and I manage storage. So what you do is you go into Garmin devices inside the menu and choose your watch. Then you can go into Connect IQ menu. You can manage the storage to see how much space you have left and how many, how much, how many kilobytes each app is consuming. Or you can just go straight into the different applications and reorder or delete the apps uh, that you don't require any longer. So for example if I want to remove find my car I can just press uninstall and it just uninstalls it. So it really is that easy and um, it gets saved down here so if at a later stage you want to reinstall it you can easily do that. Um, okay guys so this was a quick showdown of how to install and browse um, apps through both the desktop and the cell phone. Okay guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, let me know what you thought if you have any other questions and remember to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one.